Hi, I'm Paula Flo, director of The Hitting Stops Here, a campaign for having corporal punishment banned in the remaining 21 U.S. states and its territories where this practice is still sanctioned. This message is going out to Miss Alice Farmer. She's one of the leaders of the American Civil Liberties Union, also known as the ACLU. Ms. Farmer is the author of the recent report that went out August 20, 2008, called A Violent Education. This report cites the widespread use of legalized assault and battery on our children and can be read at our website, thehittingstopshere.com. In case you're not familiar with what corporal punishment is, it's where children can be beaten with a wooden board, usually about this same exact size and thickness. And it's very hard and very painful experience for our children. In your report, Ms. Farmer, you cite the following. On page one, you give an example of how a 10-year-old boy was beaten until he bled. His mom had to peel his underwear off of him when he arrived home. Three days later, the same boy was beaten again in school for playing with his pen in class. This time, his genitals were bruised and swollen. The mom tried to pursue litigation, but her claims were dismissed in court. Why? Because the law provides immunity for teachers. Teachers who paddle no matter how badly they bruise or injure your children, receive immunity of the law. On page two, you state three important facts. Number one, the United States is out of step with international practice on the use of corporal punishment in schools. Number two, experts have concluded that corporal punishment by schools by school officials and teachers violates governmental obligations to protect children from physical violence and cruel, inhuman, and degrading treatment. So why is this happening? Why is this being permitted? Well, the American government is getting away with the crime of leaving our children unprotected from school abuse. Also on page two, it is stated that there is a disproportionate rate of corporal punishment used against African Americans, particularly boys. And this violates the right to non-discrimination in accessing education. This information, Ms. Farmer, must be brought to the attention of the American people. The children in these sanctioning school districts are counting on your voice, ringing out from these pages and being heard by every American. Ms. Farmer, we understand what you are up against. We understand that our American government has no problem with the fact that the primary targets for these beatings are black boys and black girls. We know that teachers have murdered our children and gone on to teach in other states or in other schools nearby. In some schools, such as the one we campaigned at this year in uh, Memphis, Tennessee, called the Memphis Academy of Health Sciences, students are beaten by the class loads. Now, who has time to write that many reports and deliver their well-written out lesson plans? Your report also indicates that special education students with mental as well as physical disabilities receive corporal punishment at disproportionate rates also. In a recent school year in Texas, 18.4% of the total number of reported beatings was special ed children. Now, the number of children reported was close to 50,000. If you factor that out, that's more than 9,000 special ed children or reports of special ed children being beaten. That's disgraceful. Ms. Farmer, 
What can concerned people, groups, and organizations do to help you get this report out? We know that our government can get the word out in just one day. We know that if the primary targets were little white girls, it would be over, particularly if the primary paddlers were black male teachers. This game would be over. Our children will one day look at your report and learn that it went out on August 20th, 2008. They will wonder why they were amongst thousands of reports of assault and battery that took place much later after this report was put out to the public. The hitting stops here and parents and teachers against violence in education believe that by fall 2009, our children can walk into paddle-free schools. But it can only happen if we get this word out to the general American public. We want to help you, and we need your help too. We believe that this goal is achievable. We believe that there are enough responsible, caring adults who can help make this happen once they are informed. You interviewed to complete your fine report, they're counting on you to take a radical stand for getting this message out to the general public. They're waiting and they're hoping and some of them are just confused as to why you came around asking all these questions, yet they are still being beaten in their schools. I'd like to read some further points made in your report that tell any responsible adult that having this practice stopped is indeed an urgent matter. These are some comments made by students. Page 21. The principal pulled my pants tight. It gives you a wedgie. By making things tight, it hurts more. Page 22. Students might accumulate, say, up to 30 licks. They can receive 10 today if they want, and tomorrow, and 10 the next day. Page 28. Some students are forced to wait for their own punishment while listening to the beatings of others for like 30 minutes. Page 36, students are beaten for eating or drinking in class, for sleeping in class, for walking on the wrong side of the hallway, for talking back to the teacher, and for not turning in homework. Page 37, coaches paddle children for receiving bad grades. Page 40, a superintendent who's against corporal punishment generally speaking, says that he's only for it in a few cases, such as when students show aggressive behavior. Page 41. A Mississippi high school student reported that to, to control students in the gym, the principal and assistant principal come up into the bleaches and put their hands on girls and choke them and slam them, and they grab the girls in all kinds of ways. Page 52, a teacher reported, I had a pregnant girl paddled once for being tardy. She was 16 years old, five months, and showing. This is what's going on in our American schools and how government is allowing this. Page 70. A middle school student reported some girls that act like they're gay, they get hit really hard. More discrimination. Page 